It's your boy Doughboy TV back again with another banger. Topics on the flow for today's video is King Bond and Tay 600 or Take a Pwn, whichever you want to call it. Let's get straight into it. But them niggas turned you sour. I'm solid like a tree, stand tall like a tower. I can wipe you down, you don't gotta take a shower. Eat you like a lunch boat, girl, that pussy hours. Let's take a trip out of State Beach for some hours. I want this shit forever, like Drake, say it louder. I want you like the. Make a song with Tay. I can't make a song with Tay. And this is like, it ain't, you know? I don't know what's going on, I don't know. It's just that once somebody or a few people say a certain thing about a certain motherfucker, like in the hood, in the streets. Once you say something about a motherfucker, like once you get to hear the motherfucker told or a motherfucker gay, I always learn to uh, separate yourself from that shit. Like, that's the real thing to do. Like, a whatever your homie and shit for real, you fucking and you love him. You better separate yourself from that shit. Because I ain't finna be wrong with no nigga, you see what I'm saying? Like, if he really is selling, finna be wrong with him. Hell, oh, y'all be getting wrong at like, 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 like in two. It's early right now, so like in two, three hours, when y'all get around y'all homies and them, y'all look around the room and see and see if y'all heard some shit about them and shit. Like, see if you ever heard one of them niggas was gay or, some, or snitch or some shit. And then you look at them, ask them about that shit. Ooh, I don't even ask them. Just separate yourself. Like, you hear somebody gay or told too many times or something in the hood. That shit true. Hey, did. You feel what I'm saying? That's just where I'm from. I ain't just finna be around nobody like that. Why you make oatmeal? You put the shit in the microwave, right? Oatmeal. One on one. You open a pack. Two of them bitches now. You put a little more water over just a little bit over the thing. You know, don't drown that bitch. That hoe gonna be wet. You throw that bitch like that bitch blow up. You gotta watch it. That bitch almost, when it almost blow up, you take that bitch out, put butter in that bitch, peanut butter in that bitch. Now, if it's kinda too dry, you throw a little more water in that hole. You get the water whipping that hole with the love. Yay, what the fuck? With the love. That was gonna be this. Louis think he know Ed Don, so this man don't know shit, bro. Look at him. Louis, what you want? So basically, you know, King Ron basically calling Tay 600, take upon his new name, a rat. You know, Tay had a situation with Rondo number nine and a couple other people like C Day and stuff. And um, allegedly he told, but I mean, if you go read the paperwork, it's been proven. He done proved himself to not have told on nobody. And basically, to be so honest, the person who really ratted was Rondo number nine. And he's like trying to get an appeal right now where he damn near blaming the whole thing on C Day, which is E Day cousin. I mean, E Day cousin, E Day little brother. If y'all know like about Chicago rappers, because you know, they was a huge influence on everybody everybody's rap scene so if you saying that you ain't never heard of a chicago song chief key for some you're lying and i know i have and tay 600 was actually one of my favorite rappers and to this day i feel like he should be you know like up there like i feel like him it's like him and a couple other people like him it's a dude that used to run with 300 called sd and um like lil reese i think they should have been blew up but they not but you know i don't know but you know like i said King Von basically like stepping on it, talking about, but he's saying some real stuff at the end of the day. Cause in the streets, if somebody is rumored to have did something, it's better to stay away. Cause if you with them, you implement it. Even they got to prove themselves, but it seemed like he proved himself to me. I read the paperwork. He really didn't tell on nobody. And it's like, y'all still don't mess with him because y'all already have said something. And I feel like it'll make y'all look bad because y'all tried to down or ruin a dude name. And it's proven to be not true. You get what I'm saying? And y'all don't even want to, um, be a real man and a go apologize to that man. Like my bad, because this thing could have got him killed, really hurt. Like this, this is a, a jacket that you gotta wear. A snitching jacket is a jacket you gotta wear in prison. He was in jail doing all this. It could have been people trying to kill him because they think he really told on somebody. And y'all condoning it, but you know, I wanted to get y'all thoughts and see how y'all feel about it. Do y'all feel like Tasty Hundred is a snitch or not? Because. I don't, but I need to get other people's opinion cause, because it hit me like Mike Tyson and just, you feel me, hit me to the left. It striked me as, like, confusing because I'm trying to figure out, like, these were your people. Y'all didn't deal with y'all did in the streets, held each other down, and it's like, y'all just disowned this man because allegedly he's snitching. Now he done proved himself to not, and it's certain people and certain members that's going back and actually messing with him. But it's still a lot of people who in the mainstream that can really help him that don't. And, you know, it was, it was rumored back in the day that, 
you know, he um, had relations with Lil Dirk baby mama. And it was true. But that's up to you decide. But you feel me? And I feel like they blackballing him. Like, I feel like since his baby mama got hit by one of his homies that he getting blackballed. And at the end of the day, the people with money is going to be the most intro, like, influence. The the people with the money going to be the most, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, have the most influence on the, uh, the sheep of the world or the crowd. You feel me? The people with the money going to have the most influence to have people do so if it's like i'm a millionaire and i tell all my homies don't mess with bro they gonna not mess with them because i'm the one feeding them in a sense but enough of me talking let me know how y'all feel about the situation down in the comments man it's your boy dope boy tv like comment and subscribe i'm out